few people have asked about the box that I use for painting my little paintings, and this is it. This is called the Utrecht Thumb Box, and I bought it in America about 10 or so years ago. I liked it so much, in fact, that I bought two. One for friends to use if they paint with me or my daughter to use. This, by the way, is the nicer one. <laughs> you can see inside that it has a wooden palette that you slide open and on the inside, you can put your supplies. It comes also with a leather strap that you can attach on the sides. I never use the strap. In the bottom of the box is this little hole cut out, and that is actually for your thumb. So you can see if I put my thumb there, I could technically use this as my palette and paint and hold it while I'm standing up. I also never use it that way because it gets heavy when it's full. The lid is pretty awesome because it has these hinges and this top portion flips up and you can see there's a notch there and a notch there. And this is where your panels go. The size of this thumb box is six by eight inches and I don't really paint on that size. I also don't like these canvas boards very much. So generally what I'll do is I'll have a tiny little painting and I will put some white tack on the bottom and just stick it on one of the other boards. I forgot to mention that it has this little hinge here so you can adjust the uh, angle and tighten it. Here's the box that I actually use and you can see a few of the modifications that I've made. I took a piece of glass from a picture frame and secured it to the existing palette with some white tack in the corners. The reason I do this is because the palette is really pretty cheap and awful. Plus I just like glass palettes. Here's how mine looks inside. Another thing I've done is I've taken a cork and I've sliced it in half. This way I can boost my canvas up a little bit so it's not so close to the paint. If I want it really high, I'll just add the other half on top. And that's my little thumb box.